Oh, this NPR piece I'm looking at, uh, I didn't have the benefit to listen to it on the radio, but another YouTuber pointed it out to me. And I was kind of wondering where it came from. Well, it comes from uh, Tom Jelton. He's been an NPR correspondent for 30 years. Let's listen to the intro. Churches at times have also supported the notion of white supremacy. NPR's Tom Jelton has been exploring that. One of the first things you might ask is, did NPR find anything in the Bible that is really racist? And the answer is nope. It did find Paul's letter to the Ephesians. And Paul does talk about slavery, but I think that's just absolutely neutral. Besides telling slaves to obey their masters. Such as in the Apostle Paul's New Testament letter to the Ephesians, where he writes, Slaves, obey your human masters with fear and trembling and sincerity of heart. To be sure, some Christian groups were prominent in the movement to abolish slavery, and vague biblical references to slaves were ultimately discounted by most Christians. But a hundred years after Thornwell's death, some white preachers were again invoking scripture, this time to justify racial segregation. They said God meant for the races to be separated. So, to the not-so-good news. Is Christianity part of racism? Is Christianity racist? Just how relevant is Christianity to the racism problem? She said, well, I just don't believe that blacks should be treated the same as whites. And that stayed with me. And for many, many years, I wanted to understand what seems like a central riddle that the part of the country most fervent about religious faith was also the one that practiced white supremacy most enthusiastically. Let's say you found a church with a history of segregation and your NPR be a really dirty trick if you started asking the pastor about that history but just sort of sneak it in like you didn't know what was happening when i visited i asked associate pastor gabe fleur whether he thinks the church's reputation has been hurt by the thornwell association as far as i know it has not kept people from our doors we grew out of the first presbyterian church they've got the space here for us to have a sabbath school so that the blacks could come and worship alone. So NPR is showing us these segregated churches. That's pretty bad. The churches aren't segregated anymore, but they they were segregated. But what if there were Confederate monuments in the churches? In the First Presbyterian Cemetery, there's a monument to members of the church who served the Confederate cause. James Henley Thornwell is among them. So the basic question is, where is this Jelton guy coming from? Does Jelton really think that Christianity is a danger to social justice? Or does he just have a grudge against Christianity? I really don't know. I do know that he apparently thinks that Martin Luther King was really opposed to Christianity. I got that from reading the essay. I'm going to link it below. And you can also listen to the entire podcast from NPR. Have a great day.